Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. This is so weird. I can't even hear myself. You, but I can hear you perfectly, to be honest, and you sound pretty good. Sick. Does it feel weird for you? No. All right. Good. Next yeah. week we can get you some headphones too, and it'll. Yeah. Well, wait. No, you won't be here next. Week. I won't be here next week. You will not. But I'll be back in September, and then we'll do this again. You will. How are you doing? I am great. How are you? I'm okay. I'm yeah. uh, having a good week, I think, so far, even though I got made fun of by this girl that I was seeing. Wait, you're seeing a girl? You know I'm not her? actually seeing her. you got to hold the mic. Oh, you yeah. didn't tell me this. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this girl that like I hooked up with, Ooh. and then I didn't talk to her for two days via text, but I saw her in person, and then she's like, you're ghosting me. Oh, is she mad at you? She's super mad at me. Because you didn't text her in two days. Because I didn't text her in, let's say, three days. Ooh, were you doing that on purpose, though? Yeah, I didn't want to text her. What? I didn't want to text her at all. Oh, wait, you didn't like her. Like, you you wanted to ghost on her. I didn't want to ghost on her. I didn't even want to hook up with her. We just happened to hook oh, up. Oh, like it was like a drunken thing. Not even. Okay. It was kind of premeditated. Well, this is... It was kind of premeditated, but it wasn't fun. <laughs> and then she kept, like, being like, let's... She didn't say anything about hanging out or anything, but she never texted me either to be so like... I'm assuming the sex was not good. It was all right. <laughs> the sex, even if the sex is good, it still doesn't account for the other, you know, hours you have to spend with the person. True. You know what's funny is my mom, I didn't know she knew what ghosted meant today. And she... In general. And today, I, and she knows what it means. What is it? Is she, uh, what? To her, what is it? It's like the... No, act she knows what it means. Well, basically, okay, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks like a dick. By the way. Closer. Um, Put the dick closer to your <laughs> mouth. Even this close? Yeah, I mean, all the way touching would be even best. Oh wow, this feels weird though. That's but that's clear as can be. Oh okay. That's what the sound guard is for. Ooh. There you go. Sexy. Get into it. Get into it. Yeah. So, uh, so I sent her a picture of me and Sophie from last night. All right. And like we got really dolled up for the Magic Castle, and uh, she didn't respond. Oh, she read it. She has those read receipts. Uh huh. And uh, <laughs> she read it. And then didn't respond. And so at 11 a.m., I was like, uh, you didn't like the picture, huh? She didn't respond. And then I was like, Mom, why are you ghosting on me? Thinking she's not going to know what that even means. But it was funny to me. No, she knows what ghosted means. And you're sure she didn't Google it? No, I asked her. I go, how do you know what that means? She goes, I watch TV. When, I and I said, who is teaching TV hey, shows Dan. what ghosted means? Uh, Hi, Boone. Hey, Boone. I thought he wasn't gay. You thought he wasn't gay? Dan Madonia? Mm -hmm. I think he's probably gay. Yeah, in some way, shaky grounds. He's on shaky grounds, that's yeah. for sure. Do you think he's cute? Well, he's not ugly, but he's just on Ooh. shaky grounds. Who's he, your... he kissed you with a beard. Right? Okay, who's your favorite... <laughs> oh, you can come, come closer to me. Yeah. Who's your favorite comedy store man? Like, who do you find the sexiest? Who do I find the sexes here? This here? Yeah. Uh, oh. Who is the sexiest man? Yes. Oh, oh. but he's, he, he's, he's hotter here. It doesn't matter. John Campanelli and, 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 and uh, Rick Glassman. Wow. <laughs> wow, You find Boone. those guys the sexiest, yeah. huh? Boone, you got a type. Tall guys, you like tall Boone, guys. this is recording. Yeah, yeah, this is recording. This is okay. recording. Yeah, we're, oh, okay, then why do birds fly south during the winter? I don't know, Boone. Why do they fly south? Because it's too far to walk. Oh, my God. Oh. Boone Shakalaka, everybody. <laughs> Boone Shakalaka. Our first guest. Oh, I love it. See? How perfect is See, that? See, this, this, okay, this is what this podcast is going to be about. It's behind the scenes of the comedy store. Basically, that's how I take it. It's not even behind the scenes. It's the side of the scenes. The side scenes, right. It's not behind the scenes, we but are, it's like, yeah, we are on the side lines. We are literally in the middle between the front patio. And, and the back, basically the entrance? Back entrance? I guess the entrance. Back entrance, yeah. Driveway, I guess. We're yeah. in the middle of the road of the comedy store in yeah, Los so Angeles. Yeah, so the sidelines. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... And it's just me and you. It's just me. Well, and, and whoever comes. And whoever wants to talk, yeah. Yeah, they do not want to talk to us. I mean, they might. They just don't know what they want to yeah, say. Yeah, and you know what? The drunker people get... The better the it's going to get. The people get... We're going to get more visitors. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Okay, wait. Or so it's just us talking. How was the Magic good. Castle? It was great. It was someone's birthday, right? It was Danitha's birthday, who is a server here. I like Danitha. Yeah, she's great. Uh, she wanted to go there. 
And it was cool. I uh, it reminds me of a more giant comedy store with magicians instead of comedians. Right. Which is kind of cool. And you were a big group of girls, right? Yeah, there's like 15. Right. But I didn't drink for the first two hours, and then I had to start drinking just to handle the magic. No, the drunkness of my group. Oh, really? You know, because it was like at one point it was like we would go sit around a table. And then the magician would start to do his tricks, but every girl would be like, inter- like having side conversations with each other uh-huh. and like making jokes because obviously we all work here and everyone's kind of got this rapport and so everyone's like joking with each other, you know? <laughs> so then the comedians were just like keep rolling their eyes and so I was the only the sober magicians. one. Or the magicians, yeah, they're yeah. shit. Hey Josh, do you want to come? No, okay, bye. <laughs> Sounds like Josh Martin. We don't need to ask anybody. If they want to talk, they'll talk. I know, but he, he was like... He was, like, kind of into it. Oh, was he? You told him about it? No, I feel like I'm saying... I think eventually he'll warm up to it. dipping his toes. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're dipping our toes. But, yeah, so then the comedians would be like... I mean, magicians. Do you want to hear what it sounds like, by the way? Yeah. All right. It's fine. It'll it'll trip me up. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, it was like the magicians would get, like... They'd start rolling their eyes. Since I was the only sober one, I had to be like, Hey, guys, shut up. (laughs) And I don't like that. So I was like, all right, champagne time. (laughs) You started drinking? Yeah. You were taking a break for a bit, right? I was. It broke me last night. Bunch of magicians and a bunch of girls. Broke me. Did you get hit on by any magicians? Uh, no. Not even one. I mean, they're like, they're kind of older. Like, they like look like they might have families and like stuff, you know? You don't get hit on by guys who look like they have families? Like, I don't what? You don't get hit on by guys who look like they have families? No. Really? I mean, there also there was like a lo- there was like a flavor to choose from, you know. Uh huh. There was a whole fifteen of us. Like you had. Tell me these flavors. Every I don't know. You had every flavor of the <laughs> rainbow, you know. In fifteen women, that's every flavor of the rainbow. Yeah, you got Ham Hawk, who's a black lesbian. Uh huh. Danita is Thai or Filipino. Filipino. Uh. <laughs> And then you got a bunch of white girls, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So I guess it's but like That's there's brunettes. The there's like brunettes. There's like light brunettes. Redheads. Blondes. There was no redhead. Wow. So. Leaving out the redhead market from your friend group. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like redheads are hard to come by. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just so ugly. No. I'm kidding. I think they're hot. You know, you come by like you can't come by next like you can't come next to them. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're so yeah. ugly. Yeah, so, you know, I don't think anyone actually got hit on. Bunch of dorks, you know? Really? Yeah. Do you like getting hit on? Do I? I actually don't. I think I get uncomfortable and uh, I'm, a, I'm an asshole. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like, if a guy comes up to me that I don't want to talk to, or not like that I don't want to talk to, but I can tell that I'm not interested, and he's like, hey, and he's like spilling some bullshit, and is like, let me buy you a drink, you know? Yeah. I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> Bye. Because <laughs> I would rather just buy myself a drink and not have the torture of talking to this man for however long. And it, does that mean that's rude, no, right? No, it is not. I was about to say, I went out with four girls the other night. We went out to... What did you say? I went out with four girls the other night. Ooh. Yeah. We went to the shortstop. And it love is... Love that place? Love that place. So great. It's so great. It's our hood. That's our hood. It's our of, hood, yeah. yeah. And it is so difficult to be a good-looking woman. It is it's so... Difficult? Oh, my God. Every single dude comes up to them and wants to say something. They want to pitch their five words to this these girls. This is actually an interesting perspective because most guys are like, girls have it so oh easy. You get God. free drinks. I know? don't know how women will ever get anything done by the amount of dudes that try to spit game at them. Oh, yeah, it's annoying, right? It's super annoying. That's why, like, you have to have good game. You have to be charming. You have to be great to, like, hit on a girl. Like, it's totally. it's hard. It's not, like, people think it's, like, this easy thing. Like, I mean, like, I think people think it's, like, I don't know how to explain that. But no, you got to try. Come on. Like, I'm saying, like, you really have to be clever to hit on a girl and make it work. You know? Well, I mean, but people get laid all the time, and they're not clever or good at it. You yeah, also I mean, could be drunk. It's more organic. Yeah, it's like drunk, but it's also like a more organic thing, you know? 
I, I was flabbergasted by the amount of efforts this one guy was trying to make on one of the girls in the group. Yeah. And, and, she, and, and the girl also doesn't fully say no to the guy either. Right. She kind of keeps him hanging around just to like... Well, yeah, because she wants the free drinks. Well, most girls do. Yeah? I don't. What do you I want? I feel like I'm independent enough to be like, I can buy my own motherfucking drinks. Thank you very much. Thank you for buying my drink tonight. Yeah, really exactly. Well, I mean. How independent. Yeah, I am. In, see? And I, I will, yeah. I am hooking you up. You are. Like, I am a dude. I'm a dude. You're a dude in a woman's body. Yeah. Well, that, no, that doesn't. Yeah, I mean, let's have half true you think you're you think you're part I think dude I have, no i think i probably just have more testosterone levels than most women why is that i don't know i don't know the science behind is it a wisconsin this. thing <laughs> yeah something in the cheese <laughs> you know i don't know billy bonnell everybody hello he did not like that he's tired he just hosted since you know oh he's the he place hosting potluck yeah Oh. But I think he's done now. See, you know what's cool about this is there's a lot of people you know that I don't know. And there's a lot of people you know that I don't know, like exactly. Leonard Robinson. Yeah. Look at Aaron. It's Aaron. Aaron can come talk to us if she ever wants. She ever wants to. She hates us. I'm just kidding. I don't think I'm everyone just... who passes us hates us. I think they're no, just confused. No, I know. Oh, Craig. Craig knows what's happening. Yeah. We're yeah, yeah we're we are serious. serious. Do, 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 yeah, Hi, you Renee. can come in. You want to, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What is this? Oh, what is do you this, want to talk about? Can you hear me here? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, right nice. Uh, is this like just a free for all? Like talk about whatever? Yeah, whatever the fuck you want. You can tell me about the worst date you ever had, or you can talk about your best. Uh, whatever you whatever want. Whatever the fuck you I want. I mean, what are you feeling like, Renee? How's what your day? What are you day? feeling? Uh, yeah. How's your day? How's I your don't... week? Well, here's the, the thing. The start of a new week. You're right. Um, worst date I've ever. That, that's a great question. Have you gone Wait, on any date? dates? <laughs> oh, date. Actually, how about this, guys? I know, yeah. I uh, I actually have gone on a lot of dates. Um, when I had a full-time job and was making a lot more money. What were you doing? Wait, what was your full-time job before this? Uh, well, actually, the, I've had several jobs. The one right before this. Yeah, but I worked, like, what's your full-time <laughs> shit? I worked for a real estate company. Uh, really? Doing, yeah, and then I also. All right, Garza, we get it. Yeah, you're cool, You have Garza. great hair. Jesus. <laughs> He's so far away. I can but smell that the panting so Provi from here. I know, but every bike is so loud. It's true. Okay, so you did real estate. What were? What, what did you do? Oh, though? I just worked in the the uh, corporate office, uh, like doing incident reports and shit. It was. Oh, that uh, sounds awful. It was very depressing, actually. Yeah, the shit that goes on in Texas. Ay, Dios mío. It's crazy. <laughs> is that where you're from? <laughs> no, I'm from uh, San Diego. Okay, this is confusing. Why were you in Texas? No, I said the shit that happens in Texas. The real estate company had a lot of properties in Texas. Oh. oh. And Los Angeles. Yeah, you got to tell us that. <laughs> oh, I apologize. <laughs> I, I left that out. <laughs> You're like, what so happened? So you were not living in Texas. I was not. I was living in mid-city Los Angeles. Okay. Doing right. Uh, and then I also was a valet manager for Ooh, a somebody, long time. Somebody trusted you with cars? That's why I'm so good at the lot, guys. Come see me at the comedy store. I worked a lot, a lot. Come Renee, say hi. Renee Lancaster. <laughs> Renee Lancaster. Best, All right. best car parker that, man. Is that my, like, side off? No, no, no. Well, you, never, oh. you never told us what you were going to tell us. Oh, yeah. I, I, as far as dates go, like, I'd have to I'd have to really sit down and think about worst dates um, because... No, what, what? <laughs> no, you can't sit down and think about it. We're recording right now. No, I know, I know. Well, here's the thing. I, but you said, Jesus. When you, you said you had a bad date. You said no, okay. you had a bad date when you were working a full-time job, and you were going to tell No, I said that was the only time I went on dates. Oh. I had money to spend on chicks, and oh. I had a lot of luck on OkCupid. So what do you do now? <laughs> you just don't date? Uh, correct. I'm looking for a second job again, and... Uh, and looking for love. Hey, you know what well, you sure, can do? Well, sure, I'll go on a date, but uh, <laughs> I'm not, like, really adamant about asking girls out, because I don't have any cheddar. Renee, you can cuddle for money. Oh, yeah. You know oh, I just read thing. that. I did you just read that. You can cuddle for money. Why don't you money? be a cuddle guy? Renee would be a good cuddler. Uh, I'm down, well, right? Uh, Who wants to be my pimp? I feel like though he would like creepily touch your ear, like like accent, like his fingers would just like run up your body and then like start stroking your ear, and you're like, ugh, <laughs> never mind, I don't want to cuddle, buddy. <laughs> you're not that creepy. It's so accurate, Boone, right here. What's oh, up? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave yeah, it up to Boone. Thank you guys. Oh yeah, Bye, Renee. Renee. Thanks, Renee. Thanks, Renee. Something straight. Yeah. That oh. women do have balls. Yes, do they have do. Balls? Yes, they do. Where are their balls at? Uh, you In tell me. Well, women have balls. They're. <coughs> Ooh. See, I try to tell the truth. Okay. Women have balls. Right. They're eyeballs. Uh huh. It's the thing about it. Women don't have sex. 
What? No, women don't have sex. What do they men, have? Men have sex and sockets. Women it's... only have sockets. Their eye sockets for their balls. Dude, the boom, you're dark as fuck. I've seen a lot of women Dude. suck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Men have sex for their balls and suck it for their eyes. Nothing. I Dude, got nothing. Dude, Boone is, Boone is balls, scarily dark. Moon's, yeah, Boone's, of course. Boone's filthy. That's the truth. That is the truth. The Thank truth. you, man. And the truth, another thing is the truth, <laughs> is that comics should start being funny. Oh, okay. Quit trying to find out where I live at and where I go and get money and all that. Don't work. Write a fucking movie script. Here, here. Write a fucking <laughs> synopsis for here, a movie. Here. Here. Put here. the click clackers Preach, in your movie. Or the click clacker or associates in the movie. Okay. Quit being so goddamn homosexual and say you ain't a homosexual or you got a girlfriend. So that make you bisexual. But whatever the fucking session it make you, write a fucking movie, asshole. Okay, okay. All right, we got it. We'll uh, we'll pass that along. Hey, comics, write, write a, a fucking movie, 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 you assholes. <laughs> this is such a good idea. Dude, I know. Boone's going to... You know what, though? I feel like we're only hey, really going to get Boone. No, you know we're going to get more than yeah, Boone. Yeah, but Boone's going to like pass by like every 10 minutes just to tell us a story. That's okay. No, I know. That's cool. I mean, like... He's kind of a staple here, so it's great. I mean, he's our first guest. He was our first guest. And he was also our third guest. <laughs> yeah, and our third, and probably going to be our sixth. Yeah, he'll, and our he's eighth. coming back. You know, Boone's, you know Boone Shakalaka's coming back. Oh, yeah. We might as well call this Omid Megan And he's Meg drinking and a tall boy, so, you know, like, it's only going to get darker. The sky's the limit weirder. on Boone right yeah, now. Yeah, I know, dude. I never know. Although he does have, like, certain catch things, phrases, he always says. Like uh, homosexual. Yeah. He does like to say homosexual a lot. You have a good accent. You have a good Boone accent. Hey, Ali Mack, everybody. Hey, Ali, you want to get on our podcast? What is it? It's just Omi and Meg talking. It's just our podcast that is kind of like a behind just, the scenes or okay. sidelines, we you decided. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Did you have a good day? Um, it was pretty boring. I got my nails done and that was it. And then I performed here. That's it? Yeah, but my nails look fucking great. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Did you just get those done? Yeah, gel. I normally don't do glitter, but I wanted to feel confident. Because? Because I didn't feel confident. And do we think glitter equals confidence? Yes. Yeah, I kind I of. I do, yeah. I you do. have three, to three be confident three right to rock glitter. Yeah, because some people are like, ooh, look at your glitter nails. And you're like, yeah, bitch. If exactly. you're not confident with glitter, you will get torn down. Anyway, it's been a fun time. Good Thank seeing you, you guys. Thank you. See you too. Perfect. I feel like we were like, uh, like, the, like you said, it's like the sidelines, like the, the commentators. Yeah. Like a fo- it's not like a football game, obviously. It's kind of like a football game. We're trying to pick up on yeah, on how everyone's day is going. And or the week before. The week before. Because this is a new start of week, which I also like. Me too. Uh, I think I had a great week. Tell I feel me like about I did. It. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I mean, I'm getting ready to leave on Wednesday to go to Edinburgh. That's right. Why, why are you going for fun? No, I'm going for work, going for stand-up. Oh, oh really? I'm performing... At the comedy store in London. Oh yeah, but that's not affiliated, it's right? It's not affiliated. I know, which is strange. It is called the com- well. There's a comedy store in like every major country. Is there? There's like a comedy store in Australia. There's a comedy store in England. There's a comedy store here. Have we ever Googled this? Do we think that they're like? They're not affiliated. No, but at I all. mean, like, did that name originate from here? And they of were like, course. oh, we're gonna use it. Oh yeah, of course. Right. Yeah, yeah. Nobody would thought like. But nobody like ever was like, you can't use that name. No. That's how that's how cool every comedy store is. They're like, we're they're not like, affiliated, but we're not going to change the names either. I mean, that's dope. Yeah. That's nice. I wonder what it's going to be like. I've been to the one in London. It's oh. really nice. Oh, well, look at you, it's Mr. Not like, travel Pants. I am a big traveler. <laughs> I'm so jealous. If I had to choose like what I do the most, it's travel. I'm a vagabond. My family's like people that like traveled since back in the day. I've... <laughs> Besides right now, yeah. I've never lived in one house for more than a year, except for the current place that I'm living in. Is that in. on purpose? I mean, what do you mean is it on purpose? Like, I had to move with my family as a kid. Well, I just mean, like, but now you live as an adult. Now I live as an adult. <laughs> so? But I still move, like, even in the house that I live in right now, Yeah. 
I have moved twice in the same Ooh, Josh house. Josh Nasser. Hello. Come Hi, talk Josh. to us. Well, well, well. If it isn't the guy who crushed on stage tonight. Oh, thanks, Josh. You did amazing. You liked it? Oh, yes. wow. I, you are stroking his ego hard. Josh. He did good. He started, he opened, it was like a late night set. No joking. I love boom, you. Boom, boom, I boom. love you. You had him in the first six seconds and you didn't let him go. Thanks, man. Yes. Josh Jer- Nasser, everybody. Jeremiah. That was like a commentary of the sidelines. Yeah, it's exactly what it was. Yeah, it was like, you had it. Do you ever wonder, though, if people are just like blowing smoke up your ass? Well, they are. They are. Like, you know. What we're doing is just having fun. No, yeah, it's great. It's great. I just. Yeah. I don't think I could ever do that. Like, if I was a comic. I don't think I would ever tell someone that they did good if they sucked, but. Oh, know? yeah, you can't. I don't. Well, but some, I feel like some people do, right? Some people do. Yeah. Some people would go up to you and be like, good set. And you'd be like, what were you, like, what are you what? talking about? Yeah, you're way off. You're like, people booed me off stage yeah. and threw a banana peel at my face. Oh, I miss those days. I don't know. Does anyone do that? No. Nobody, nobody really I mean, comes I work to a comedy here. club I know no one does with that. bananas. Huh? Nobody really comes to a comedy club with bananas. Yeah, I don't think you're really a... I don't... Yeah, you're not allowed. <laughs> I don't know. You're not allowed bananas in the store. There's a sign. It's funny if they like checked fruit. At th- no one's bringing fruit. I don't. No even tomatoes. Know what yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the old where, timey days. Okay, where did though the tomato thing originate from? You know what I mean? I'm guessing it's just like that was all the fruits that the people had, and they really hated that art that they they were looking at. Yeah, <laughs> tomatoes. So they threw tomatoes. Like, where, like, Everyone just randomly had tomatoes. You know who was really happy? That tomato farmer. That guy, when he like heard there was like a shitty act coming to town. Yeah, he's like, stock up on tomatoes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I do think this is like a wives' tale. The tomato thing? Yeah. No, it really happened. It's like bananas and shit. It's I like would love to like banana. ask Siri where the comic tomato thing originated. I'm going to guess somewhere in Europe. It's not a comic thing specifically. I think it was like oh, a like, yeah, booing in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it became a, a comic thing. All right. Well, I'm going to Google it. And then next week, well, no, in September when I forget about all of this, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to remember to bring it up. You know who's I'm not going to forget about this? Is going to be Boon Chagalaka. Oh, no, he's and not. Me. You know what? He's probably going to be here in Next line week, yeah. every Monday. I know, to get his couple minutes. Yeah, this is like, yeah, this is how we're going to get his. We're going to make careers out of this. Yeah, thing. we're going to, we are going to launch Boone's comedy career. Yep. He's going to go from selling three shirts a night to selling 30 shirts a oh, night. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. Or like, yeah. Dude, one time uh, I left some shoes here. I was really sad because I just bought them, and uh, I left them in the bathroom. And I was like, "Fuck!" I came back the next day; they were gone, obviously. And I was like, "Dude, what if Boone has them? What if like Boone got them and he's selling them?" Yeah. He didn't have them. That's he didn't it. have them. No, that's not a great story. But that's not a bad. I story. was actually that was the one time I was hoping Boone had my shoes. You know. Because they were like one of a kind. You couldn't reorder them. They were like a limited edition. Never found out who took them? And I never found them, never got them back. And I was like, really like, God damn it, I really hope Boone stole my shoes. You know? Are you sure he doesn't have them? He did not have them. Unless he sold them before I got to him. How much are these shoes worth? Eh, they weren't that much. They were like maybe, like maybe a hundred bucks. Dang. I mean, like that's not, but that's not like, you know. 100 bucks for shoes? Actually, they might have been on sale. Wow. They were limited edition Reebok sneakers. Wow. They were snazzy. They were great. Why'd you want them? Because they were awesome. That's it? Why does anybody want anything? Uh, I don't know. That's hey. a tough one. Hey, come, Zeus. Come talk to us. What? Yeah. Oh, this is on? Yeah. yeah this, this is, is great, you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know why anyone has never done this before. Right? We are the first. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Hey, is, it, is, it, is it your guys' yeah. podcast? Yeah. What is it called? Just so meet and Meg. Nice. Original. You know. 
Yeah, right? <laughs> Very original. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we're kind of... No, no we you, want, you, this we is want what it. we want. Oh, oh, like, we want to hear about your day. We yeah, want to hear about like, your week. This we is the point of want. doing it right here. And so we... Because people are walking by. Exactly. That should be the name of the podcast. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. The fuck y'all talking about? Funky Johnson, uh, Funky, Johnson, Funky baby. Johnson and this bitch interrupting all y'all shit out here, out here drinking, getting loaded. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do. I'm about to go to the bathroom and do some of that crack coke. I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm go see her at the front bar every Monday. This is Are you going up tonight? I am. I got a magical uh, number 16 on the lineup, so I is might that, not. Is that bad? Anything what? after 10 is horrible. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. It, it means you're not gonna get up. Oh shit! Really? Unlikely, yeah. What if? Well, what's unless somebody like falls out, right? And they like. Yeah. So I, if I have nothing to do the next day, I'd stick it out. But yeah, I'm gonna stick it out today. Yeah. It's can a good ever, night to do comedy. Yeah, it is. Has anybody ever like? Can you bribe people? Like, can you be like, "Yo, dude, no, I just want to go happen. up, man. Do you want to say like I got you?" I don't think next anybody week. would take it. Nobody would take it unless it's like a hundred bucks. I'm even just curious. Then, I don't know how it works. Even then, you know, we're all about the craft. So it's like, oh, fuck your hundred dollars. That means nothing to me. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. But, but true. I, I will say, if you're running to another show and you're working on something, within one spot, it's like, hey, can we switch? Because I gotta go. That's the full extent of it. I don't think anyone will switch. Right. Like, hey, you're going up first, and I'm like 27. <laughs> Want to switch? I don't think that would ever happen. <laughs> I just didn't know if somebody was like, yeah, dude, man, I just gotta get up today. You know, like it's like a like a. I, I, like I mean, I almost mean? felt like that tonight. I was like, I. Got Gotta get up. Did you get up? I did get up. Where'd you go? Here at the in the old oh, nice. and it was great. Can I ask you guys what does it feel like when you like don't get up? Um, Are you like really sad? Is it like not coming? Yeah, that's what I mean. Is it like? Is it? Yeah, is it like it's an, basically it's not jerking off? It's an emotional blue balls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Is this <laughs> Emotional this? blue balls. Yes. Thank you for letting me hang. Yeah, Thanks come back. Sh- Any, we'll be here every Monday. What a good idea. What I know. See, I'm a genius, motherfucker. <laughs> it was our idea. It wasn't just your okay, idea. Okay, well, it started out with me saying we should do a TV show. True, true, true. And then it started out. Then we were like, nah, maybe we should change it to a podcast. Yeah, yeah. God, that. I mean, you know, we and really. Now here we are. You know what we? You know who we need to thank. I feel like we might need to thank Sophie and Andy? Pete. Pete? Why Pete? Because Pete gave us that joint <gasps> that was oh so magical. You think it was the joint I that did know, it? I don't know, man. I don't know. We were having a great night. We were having a good night. It was making sense. I mean, maybe it wasn't the joint. Maybe it was just our magical brains. Because we've talked before that joint. We've I mean, had also true, but not about this. Not about this idea. And also, it was that eclipse. I feel like the moon brought us together. I agree. I mean, the moon is a very powerful thing. Um, and then I, and then we went night swimming, and then Josh got passed the next day. I know. And now we, I think I had something to do with that. I selfishly. think I did too. Why? What did you do? I told him to get in the car. Oh, you did. Oh, are you pissed? Oh, wow. No what words happened? from. Feng Chao. Why? Because he dumped ice on the ground? I, yeah, but angrily. Anger. Is that a word? Angrily? 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 Probably. Um, yeah, you did tell him to get in the car, but then, like. And we, he did it. He did it right then and there. Like, he, he didn't even, like, think no, about it. I mean, it. I think he actually had this, and he was already, like, in the idea with Sophie or whatever. Oh, he was? I think so. I think she had asked him already, but um, I think it was better than the last time, because I think the last time. Hello. Hi. Hi, who are you? Passerby. Yeah, who are you? What's your name? Gabriel. Hey, Gabriel. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. I have to go. I'll be right back. Okay, well, that was tight. Uh, Gabriel, passerby, everybody. Passerby or Gabriel. <laughs> See, we'll get stuff like that, we'll too. We'll get crazy fucking people who just show up and do nothing. Oh, yeah, get it, girls. And we got Rose. Yeah. Rose will come and talk to us, probably. What'd you say? Rose will probably come and talk to us. Oh, yeah, I hope so. She's the best. Um, she was there last night. Courtney Banks might talk to yeah. us. Yeah. Hey, Courtney. Hello. Hello. This one's legit. Do you How wanna, are you? you can, I'm great. How's your day? It was great. Or last week. Or your sets. Well, I think I might be pregnant. So. Oh, no. Sh- I do. Really? I feel like this is yes. a joke. No, no, but I also think the world will end, so I'm doing nothing about it. No, no, no. Come on. You really don't think you're pregnant. You're, you have a beer in your hand. Yeah. 100% why <laughs> I think I'm pregnant. Yes. 
Exactly. I mean, this thing so, you make. But if you want to kill it, there's one way to kill it. I mean, yeah, the, there are multiple ways to kill but it. No, this is going to give it like a weird too, side I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to. I mean, I'm not going to be drinking beer and then have it. That'd be crazy. Whose baby is it? Well, Tell who me. is it? That's for me to know. Whoa. Is it a comics baby? Juicy, juicy, juicy. Which comic? Oh, she's walking away. Party it's a comic. Max. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a great first night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Whew. God. That's probably way too loud. Sorry, I didn't mean to blow I mean, everyone's. It popped a little bit. Blow everyone's ears out. Oh, who cares? Who cares? It it's was a lot of it. juicy information. Man, Courtney. and I went a little dark there. I'm sorry. No, you can go as dark as you want. Uh, dark you is know, actually, uh, are we being vulnerable here? Is Please. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. So I had an abortion once. I mean, I think that's everyone's choice. Whatever. Totally. Uh, but I remember when I found out I was pregnant, I did ask my girlfriend to come over with a bottle of wine. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I like just, I, it was very stressful. <laughs> it doesn't make me sound too good. Hey, Rosie. It doesn't make you sound bad, though. My mom had an abortion. And look at, she had you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's just not the right high. Sometimes it's just not the right time and the, you know, the right place. I was like, oh, I was like 24. Yeah. I think I was like 24. And I uh, just gotten back together with my boyfriend. Okay. And so we've been dating like three months. So and then he the, got you pregnant. Yeah, it just like wasn't. Yeah, it just wasn't the thing. Just How long like, after the pregnancy did you guys date? Uh, oh, we act, this is this is kind of this is kind of fucked up my head. We actually dated for like two and a half years after. Damn. And lived together. And any more pregnancy scares or just no, that one time? Just the one. Just the one. Why did you end up breaking up with him? Ooh, that's a loaded question. No, it's not. It's a very simple question, it's to be honest. It's a loaded honest. question. Actually, I think it was a little bit mutual, but I do feel like my I, he broke my heart a little bit. But What did he do? He was kind of an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> it was very hard to deal with. You know? I do. Like, not a cool partier, just like an alcoholic. Like, uh, yeah. like drunk driving hey, and Tony stuff Tony like Towns. Tony Hinchcliffe. Huh? Tony Hinchcliffe. Tony Hinchcliffe. Um, yeah, it just... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. It was one. Of, it was a very intense relationship, you know. Two and a half years. I've never dated anybody longer than a year and a half. That was the, the most serious relationship I've ever been in. Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. he live here? No, Minne- uh Now he lives in Austin, but he lived in Minneapolis. And you were uh, twenty-four years old. <laughs> no, forty-four. Twenty-four. Oh, I was twenty. Yeah, I yeah. was twenty-four. I think he's he's a couple years older than me, so he was like twenty-six. Uh, Did he want the kid at all? No, I don't. We were, oh, I think we were toggling back and forth. You know what I mean? With the child, toggling. Yeah, no, I mean like toggling he, with the yeah. child in your body. <laughs> no, the idea, the idea of being like, can we do this? Because you know, at that age, it's like you could do it, but you don't do want, you want to. Do you want to? Is yeah. the question. You know what I mean? And then he so, broke your heart. In the end, yes. I kind, yeah. I think it was like a mutual thing. You know? How is it a mutual break? Like of I hearts? think, like. Uh, I think we we just got to a very like tumultuous toxic place, right? So like I don't know if either of us were really happy and I think we were both just kind of broken hearted over everything. I don't think it I think it just got to a point where it just kind of exploded and we felt like we couldn't fix it. Well, I know how it could have been. Well, I mean, I'm how? a control freak, how? but how 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 how? I mean, he had, he, if he had stopped a, drinking. Yeah, he had to want to get his shit together and he didn't until later, which is fine. I mean, that's the thing. But now he has his shit together? Yeah. Actually, he just bought a fucking house. Alex Hooper. Hey, hey you want to talk to us? Yeah, you want to chat? For a, for a minute. Yeah, what's up? How's it going, everybody? Pretty good. How are you? I just stumbled into an outdoor patio cast. Is that yes, what we call this? Yes, patio cast? Pati- oh, that's patio cool. Cast. Patio cast. Patio cast was actually yeah. an Irish friend I had in elementary school. So <laughs> patio cast, shout out to you. Hope you're doing well. How are you, Alex? I'm great. Did you go up yeah. tonight? I did go up tonight. In the OR? Did the, got up in the OR. Solid two minutes, 42 seconds. Ooh. Left 18 on the table. Wow. Because That's wanted, actually gracious of you. I was going to break for Omid, and I wanted to make sure that he got it. So when Thank I saw you. that light, I bounced. Thank you. You know, he run right left, I think, without even going up. He did. I saw him in the back. Uh, just saw him in the back. I don't know what he was doing back you know, there. You he, because he likes to party. Yeah. He does like to party. I think he's a party boy. He's like a, how old do we think he is? Ron White? Yeah. Probably like 38 at least. No, 55. Oh, you don't like 38? What are you 30, talking about? Did you say 38? 38? Well, that, that Aren't you legit. 38, Alex? I'm 32. Thank you very much. <laughs> I have just looked like I was 38 since I was 14. Well, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, he parties hard. 
Yeah. Oh, I, I, I get. I, I'm terrified of what I'm gonna look like when I'm in my fifties. What if you are? Terrified. No. What if you're like an amazing bloomer? Like you just Maybe, get better oh, and better as you age. I will tell you this. So far, that is exactly the case. Exactly. I am, so I am what if you are the? I have ever been at this stage in my life. Right. So what if you are the hottest older man ever? I think. I mean, the, the way I, the way I'm treating myself, I'm, I just might be. You know. Yeah. I believe in I'm myself. Like, care of myself. It's like the people in high school that were like so fucking hot. Yeah. And then now they're fat as fuck and have like eight children and they're like miserable and it yeah. looks like they ate themselves to death, but they were like that hot girl in school that could get any guy. And you're like, ha ha, bitch, I'm aging better than you. I don't know. Oh, you know what? That's I, you. That's gonna be you. I don't know anybody who looks bad from high school though. Really? Really? Not oh, I one do. fucking person. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I do. I think Nobody. everybody sure. does. Nobody. Wow. You went to some magical high school I went then. to a pretty magical high school. Was Were it they Hogwarts? Great, they... It was Hogwarts. Yeah. I went to Hogwarts. Yeah. I, by the way, I do not condone the Harry Potter reference that I just made. I've never <laughs> read any of the books, and I don't give a fuck about the movies. And honestly, I'm disappointed in myself. Actually, yeah, what Alex is Hogwarts? Everybody. It's a condition on your dick. No, what is it really? When you fuck too many magicians. It's the school from Harry Potter. What do you mean, okay, what is I Hogwarts? Do not know. Hogwarts is a school in Harry Potter. I don't know. I never watched Harry Potter like this gentleman here. Wow, you both have never watched no. or read Harry oh, Potter, Oh, and huh? or Game of Thrones. Wow. Or Lord of the Rings. So what do you do with your time, Meg? Not watch fantasy bullshit. Doesn't she kind of look like the mother of dragons, though, she to have does. never watched Game of Thrones? You do look a little bit like Khaleesi. Yeah. You look uh, like you could have a couple dragons. She's way hotter than you me, though. You are the breaker of change. But that, that was, like, the nicest compliment I think I've ever gotten. Hey, Jack. Is this a live podcast? Yeah, yeah. come on. Whoa. I stumbled into it like four minutes Hi, ago. Hi, I'm yeah. Jack Knight. Um, How's your Alex Hooper's the best. Oh, Jack Knight's oh, the best. You're Nobody's adorable. The best. The best. I'm go get a drink. Uh, enjoy your podcast. This is a good ass idea. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. God, we're geniuses. We're thank you, Full geniuses. Moon. Geniuses. Thank you, Full Jack Moon. Knight, everybody. Jack Coming Knight. in for a hot sec. Uh, Jenna, the manager. Coming in for hot sex for a hot sec. Oh, hot sex. Do you want to say hi to us? Jen the manager? Jenna. Jenna. Jenna the manager? Go over there. Do you know Jenna yet, Omid? I Jenna's met Jenna earlier today. Jenna's the new manager today. here. She's the newest manager at the comedy store. I'm Jenna, terrified. So happy. Most of the time. No, you it's are? okay. This is fun. Everything's fun here. I think, to be honest, the, the okay, first so couple good. times I was here, I was pretty petrified the whole you time, You know, the too. first oh, yeah. year, uh, six months. First six months is a little rough, you know? Yeah. Because you're, like, meeting a bunch of people, and then, like, People also flirt with you too, and you're like, <laughs> and you think it's all cute, and then later you're like, ooh, you're ooh, a whore. You're, yeah, you're, you're a, a bastard. fucking whore. You're a bastard. Yeah. What do you call them the funny fucks that hang around? Chuckle fuckers. Chuckle fuckers. Chuckle fuckers. Chuckle fuckers. Yeah, Chuckle but that's fuckers. like the girls that come here to fuck the comedian. But they, those girls don't exist anymore, right? No, I, they're here. They're yeah, here? They're, yeah, they're I think they might be are you here. I, I mean, maybe just because I've Again, never. Again, it's because I'm more beautiful than I've been at this stage of my life than any other part, so maybe that's why I'm experiencing it right now. <laughs> because I'm at peak beautifulness. You are at peak beautifulness. I've never, Is that how you say I don't it? think I've ever been chuckle fucked. Not here in America, at least. Uh, overseas chuckle fucking though that's insane that's, that's I've good. gotten overseas chuckle fucked yeah I've had sex with a Turkish girl oh it was great nice but she never knew what a knock knock joke was really I was like knock knock and she's like knock and she was like I don't know what you're, she's like I don't know what you're talking about I was like oh yeah they don't know what knock knock jokes are Wow, they never heard a knock like, knock. My dad joke. is so old. They're like, yeah, so. So yeah, what, what yeah. about it? Who cares about? No, my dad's so old. Yeah, I heard you the first time. What do you want? Yeah, <laughs> but knock, she knock, was amazing. I, I miss her so much. Wait, to be honest, sexually she was amazing. Sexually she was amazing. Like a uh, relationship. Like I only knew. Wait, her. did you date her? I only knew her a day. I only oh knew her. I God! Only so knew this her. is the one that got away. There's plenty that have gotten away. What? The she, list of girls who've supposed. gotten away is it's so like high. Long. Oh my god. You know what? I've always wondered, do girls have I don't do girls have a list of guys that have gotten away because I don't know that that's a thing. Yes, it must be. No, like I don't feel like there's like a guy that got away kind of no, I mean, it's kind of like eh, you're was type True. of thing. Yes. I mean, this is Hollywood. True. There's plenty. Cuz guys there's plenty generally to pick from. Yeah, continue. Sorry, I didn't no, mean to cut ahead. you off. Guys generally just like they kind of they're the ones that cut it off a little bit generally. Well, guys are dumb. Also dumb. Also very dumb, yes. Uh, what does dumb mean? <laughs> what does dumb mean? Dumb means we just don't care. Exactly. And not caring because is not they cool have to girls. Fucks. That's why they don't care. And they There's have like yeah. But you can't live off chuckle okay. fucks. You could go for like a weekend of chuckle fucks, but chuckle fucks. I think this is a Chris Rock thing. Like chuckle bucks, chuckle fucks won't like teach your kids how to read. 
I'm gonna open a strip club named Chuckle Fox. Oh. And it's gonna be strippers doing Yeah, that sounds great. I think a lot of comedians would go there. I'd be so into that. Right? I would totally be into that. I would totally Okay, we love will it. patent this idea face. on this podcast. It is yours, Jenna. Maybe men would finally start Trademark. listening to Lady Comics. Oh, yes, here right now. Stop oh. it. Stop oh, it. Oh, Alex on. Hooper. Oh, <laughs> thanks, guys. So much fun. This is so much fun. See, <laughs> God damn it. Every week, geez. every week, this is going to get better and better, better and, and better, better and better. And, and Boone better. has let his hair down. Uh-oh. He is getting ready to come back. Real Boone. Oh, yeah. Whose podcast is this? By ours. This is ours. This is ours. This, this is, is our called Omni to Meg. Omni to Meg? Yeah. Oh, we might, do you like title. that name or do we need to change we, it? We were just sitting here. Oh, we might change it. We might change the name. We haven't seen Patio seen. Cast. Patio Cast is great as well. The, the wall idea, is great. I like the wall. Infringement on the my wall, Irish friend. The, the wall is too weird. It's too Pink Floyd. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. It's I forget about that. It's too Pink Floyd. Floyd. Petey, come here. Pete, oh. also behind this podcast we idea. We think that you're probably behind this podcast idea because you sold me the joint that last we smoked week. last week. And we came up with that this idea. we came up with this idea. Of recording a podcast. This is recording. When you monetize this, I'll take 10%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. you. You can sponsor us with your uh, company. And I don't want money. I, I was trying to get money. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, it'll, be like a, it'll be like a partnership. Like, you'll be like, buy the equipment for you right now. You're I already right. got the equipment. No, 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 equipment no, 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 no. Well, like, well, you know, we're going to partnership. We're going you know, to pump we're gonna, your product. We're going to need to put, like, a post. On the yeah, well, it's we're gonna, gonna be right a, there. We're gonna need uh, some money for it, you know. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, 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 for sure. What's the podcast called? Uh, oh, we, we d- well, we're <laughs> <laughs> we just so far it's just called our names. Oh, right. Meg. It's, it's the best podcast name I've ever heard. But yeah. which is it's it's okay. I think Omid and Meg is catchy. I think it is catchy, it's and it's easy. like it's clearly cultural. I think, I think om- omitting Meg would make this podcast better. Aww. Aww. Come on now, Aww. Come Aww. Aww. Yes. I'm just coming in with a pun. I'm just kidding. That's a good pun, though. It was. It, quick. Was, it was great. Omitting First pun. Meg. First pun. Right. Omitting Meg. Maybe omitting it be Meg. Called omitting Meg. Yeah, but I can't, I can't do without Meg. Yeah, he can't do this without me. But maybe, maybe sometimes you're out of town. Yeah. Yeah, and that's cool. But like we. I feel like together we're more of a we're like. You need we're to work on your branding. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you work on your branding. Yeah, I no. don't see sponsorship deals in your near future. Are you kidding me? This yeah. is going to be huge. If you want money yeah, from me, gonna you're going to have to work on the name. We're going to work we're on gonna, it. We're going to work on the we name. Got, we got, what was the other one? Patio. Patio cast. Patio cast. So like podcast, but patio like cast. Patio cast. Which It'll is probably the best podcast with the least amount of background noise. Yeah. Maybe. Definitely what did you say? Noise. We're definitely getting background noise, but our mics are linked to these microphones, and then this surrounding mic is getting you guys. It's going to sound great. It's going to sound it's like... We could also get a third mic, though. What? I think we could get a third mic. No, this only connects two mics. Oh, so then I guess that's it. That's it. <laughs> I just think you don't believe in the equipment enough to take a third mic. I, I don't think it looks like it can take three mics. Are you kidding me? It, I, it does like, look. Let me, four let, me, mics. let me explain what you're looking at. Right it, now, one I'm mic real. is in the back. One mic's in the front. You I can put another mic in its hand. going closer, Alex. Just right here. <laughs> I'm recording on four mics right now. There's four different Wait, microphones Wait, that's going. a microphone right there? That's why I keep putting it in everyone's oh. face. This is, okay, so this works. Oh, it totally works. Like, Shut up. It totally works. Yeah, but why can't it fit a mic cord? Why can't it fit? Because there's two mic entrances at the bottom, Meg. I know, I'm just curious. I'm telling you why. Why is it not capable, though, of a third? Because it only is built for two. But it is a third. It has four, yeah. Yeah. See, that's confusing. It's not confusing. It's very simple. Okay. The listeners are riveted. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> tell a joke then, Alex, huh? What yeah. do you got? What do you got? You got a joke for us? I got to tell a joke to a machine. I Why know, not? I tell a joke. That is no, our I future, actually, just telling jokes oh. to robots. So. Come on, there's got to be some new bit you're working on. Oh, no, yeah, I'll, give you, I'll give you like a one-liner. That'd be great. Let's uh, do it. How about uh, at a Mexican jewelry store, every kiss begins with porque. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I got a one-liner. Yeah, All right, Pete Karen, uh-huh. uh I remember the first time I told a girl I loved her. She said, Pete, what do we know about love? We're only 16. And I said, no, babe, you're 16. I'm 37. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, the Pete. statutorial rapist. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's about to do stand-up again. Look out. Look out for Pete C. You gotta, Back on lineups. Maybe you guys should do a roast. Pete, oh, Pete's a good roaster. I know, and yes. you're a good roaster, Pete's a good too, roaster. Right? I've seen it. This, I feel like this at, is where you agree to one, do the roast at now. Time, I mean, at one time, I'm out of the game. I bet Pete, I never thought he would be on a comedy lineup again. Like, police lineup for sure, but comedy lineup. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh yeah. Bad. 
Vero. Yes, Vero. 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 Okay, wait. Why did you stop doing either roasts or comedy? Is there a reason? Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of other... I had bullshit going on in my life that was kind of fucked. And the last time I battled, I roasted Dave Chappelle in overtime, and I thought oh, that was right. kind of a high point. Oh, so right. Yeah, no? After that, Good. what am I going to do? True. And, I mean... Was that you and Joe Dosh, or was that... Joe Dosh, wow. yeah. He won that one. I don't no, think no, I was working no. here yet, was I? It was, yeah. it was yeah. a good, uh, we won that one. Yeah. Joe's face is the same upside yeah. down as it is regular. All right. Hey, <laughs> speaking of Joe Dosh, everybody. Oh, Joe Dosh, we were just talking about you. Oh, hi. What's happening? No, I told them the la- they asked me about battling. I said the last time I battled was against you when yeah. we got to roast Chappelle in overtime. It was. Which what was a, a fun time that experience. was. It sure was. We gave him what for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, do you want to hear the joke that I thought of afterwards? Please. Um... I wanted to say that, uh, you know, Dave's pretty ripped, but not as ripped as Joe's asshole. Oh. Hey, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it would have been good, but not bad impromptu. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they call that a way homer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Monday morning quarterback. Or whatever, oh, yeah. Right? yeah. What, what are we doing here? This is, uh, uh, this is our new. I was po- go home. I yeah. walked into a and, live uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah this is our new Monday interview. podcast. I was going to smoke it's weed. Not- yeah. yeah. So I should probably. I go do that. Go do that. Okay. I love you guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks, yeah, I thanks love for you. swinging by. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Yeah, this is just our, our new shit. The We're podcast gonna... is not condone the use of marijuana or other drugs. Oh, we totally do, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh. We, I think we do. Yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> We're a <we're> big fan. <laughs> big fan. Yeah, it's our new we're thing. We're just having fun. We're recording, seeing okay. how people's days are, if you want to talk. Or Hi. or if you have, you know, anything. Uh, all right. Well, what do you, you all want to know? I don't know. How was your day? Did you do a set? Uh, Courtney how was told us earlier oh, that to she might have been pregnant. So Really? That's the bar right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I how you're weak. Courtney Banks might wow. be pregnant. No, I don't have anything in that caliber of story. No? I, I gave her that joint in the back, you know. Yeah. Get that baby. Chill. She's drinking. She's smoking weed. What is she not doing for this baby? Yeah. yeah. She's giving it a chance. That's what she's doing. <laughs> like a reckless Maury. A chance to be retarded. Daughter. No, whatever. <laughs> That's terrible. God, Alex, you're supposed to keep those ones to yourself. That's all right. I told her, I said, like, are you? maybe she's trying to kill it. So, like, you know. Well, she's definitely trying to kill it. I yeah. don't think Courtney Banks is trying to keep but it. It's maybe she, she's trying to, like, instill it with a sense of drug use it'll be born with. So, eventually, it'll live a life that's self-destructive and take its own life slowly every day. <laughs> but no. then we're just going to get another comic. And do we really need that no. right now? I mean, literally. Do we really need another comedian? All comics try to kill. I get what she's doing. You know? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. The life insider. Hey, oh. literally. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Do literally. we not feel bad for our friend who's trying to kill this baby that's inside of her? I mean, no, I, I don't know. She was for... like very confident about like the whole weird. I don't know. I don't even know. I like. It was so hard to process because it was so unexpected. So unexpected. I, I was a coat hanger baby, but instead of aborting me, I fell out. Like, because they just, they hooked me out. Like, I was being pulled off stage telling a bad joke. They're they just, just hooked me. They were just trying to keep up the wrinkles. Look how that works. <laughs> oh! <laughs> they should put some starch on you, folks. Hooper. Hello. We need, like, one of those sound machines that you just press, like, a couple buttons. Megan, it's not that <laughs> advanced of a setup that we have here. We have two microphones. Okay, so then we need to wah, hire somebody wah. to make the sound. There we go. We got Hooper. Hooper can make. on a good note. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks, Thank Joe. Bye, Joe Dosh. Bye, Dosh. I'm actually going to leave to you. Okay, bye. Bye, Hooper. You're great. You're awesome. Thanks for hanging. Uh, David Taylor. Do you want to come hang out with us, David? No. Oh, (laughs) you're so handsome. What's that? For what? For sets? What a fun night. I should have known. Why did I ask David Taylor? No, David's not going to talk to us. Not yet. I thought it was a chance. You know? There's always a chance. Someday, maybe. Someday. Um, Yeah, I think we should, like, hire someone to do sound effects. To just make the sound effects. Maybe. Maybe, like, we could tell, like. I mean, we could also move up to a bigger setup as soon as, like, somebody cares about this. (laughs) True, true. I mean, yeah, we're just going to make the sounds for now. Yeah. But if somebody needed, like, $20. To do what? They could stand here and... and uh, the question is who would do it and how would they get all that equipment and how would we record it? Maybe if we promise Boone... You want Boone to make the sounds? No, maybe if we promise Boone, he can he can have every 30 minutes. Not like he doesn't get 30 minutes, but every 30 minutes he gets a minute. 
To do what? Talk to us? Yeah, and then he gets to stand and and go wow wow or whatever. I don't what trust I don't trust Boone <laughs> to do that at all. I know. I don't. I don't know. I trust Boone to like that's just a, say weird shit about. Yeah, that's a bad example. But. Gay people, but True. we can find somebody. Oh, to you're do bad. It. Jack Knight. You guys everybody. are still going. What's the conversation on? Huh? What Boone are you guys talking mostly. About now? We're talking about Boone. Shaka we're just talking Locker. about whatever. Boone. I have a theory that only comics can see him <laughs> because I've never I, seen him talk to a regular person. I don't think, so I think that's funny. probably true. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I I've never seen. And I think he died years ago. And then once you get kind of, because I've never seen a bad comic talk to him either. True. I've seen a crazy comic. Hilarious. Who are like lost in it, but yeah. I've never seen a regular person or like a new comic have a conversation with him because that's only right. comics can see him. It, him, Tony, Gus, the two dead dudes from uh, Serrano's or whatever right. old restaurant that was here. Sir, uh, uh, yeah, what's it, what what it called? Oh, uh, uh, Ciro's. Ciro's. Yeah. Boone's one of them. He was like one of those goons, the part of the Italian mob. That I used know, to, and I feel like he doesn't really age. Like, I feel like he's been this old for the last four years I've worked here. Oh, totally. Yeah. You know, like he's just been, oh. he doesn't, yeah. His face is so big. But his body is so small. Yeah, yeah. And that's such like a like a dead person's way to look. Do we know how old he is? No. We should ask how old is How old is Boone? David, how old, how old is Boone? Boone? Yeah. He's like 60-something. 60 60-something. Oh, 60 60-something. 60 something. We'll have right, to ask him next. Thanks, Jack. Yeah. He's so cute. Jack Knight? Yeah. That's He's like an like? adorable little cute baby. That's what you like? Oh, an adorable cute baby? Oh, my God. Andrew Delman. Andrew Delman, I've known this guy for hundreds of is years. Is that his real hundreds. hair? Hundreds. It is my real That's hair. That's Andrew Delman's it's real like hair. It's like extra curly. Do you it perm is, it? I do not. Mm, That's but beautiful. Think I do. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Andrew gave me one of my first big breaks when he told me about an audition Ooh. at UC Irvine for Jimmy Kimmel's college comedy contest. Yep. Okay, yep. did you win? I oh, did. He did. He did. Oh, shit. And I did not. And oh, did so that was a bad <laughs> idea on your part. Yeah, but good idea on my part because yeah, that means a good guy. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Also yeah. true. Also, also true. good yeah. idea. Friends yeah. helping friends is How great. are you? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Good. You just hanging out? Yep. Do you want to tell us about your day at all? Uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, had a good day. Open for Jesus Trejo last night. Oh, at, in Irvine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Uh, um, and then today it's just been random. How do you know Jesus? From shows, just random. Yeah. Dope. But he let me feature for him, which is really weird. You know. Why is that weird? Because we met like less than a year ago. Okay. And then I'm featuring for him, and some of the other people. Knew him longer, you know, you know. The game. Totally, so but you're, you're like, you if he asked you, it. he asked you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, do yeah. It. yeah. No, it was good. It was good. But great. you know about Irvine. Yeah, it's a tough room. Weird crowd. Totally. Irvine Weird. is it the Improv? No. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a big, okay. big room with a bunch uh, of hey, rich people. With a bunch of Jewish people. Rich people. Oh, it's like, did I hear that? Uh, right? uh, they might be Jewish. Uh, no, you can interrupt. You're fine. Yeah. Did, uh, is it like the size of the main room or what? It, 600 people. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a big deal. So is it, if it's not sold out, then you're just like, hey. It was pretty good. It was half filled. Nice. But the weird part was, is I went there with, like, a vendetta to, like, talk about the Irvine company and, like, expose. And nobody and No one. No one cared. Nobody like, cared. <laughs> like, three well, people they, loved it. They? I know. They're part they, of the machine. They yeah. loved it, yeah. They're at the improv Three in people Irvine. loved it, and then the other people were like, I'm not having it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. You know what? I think if, like, no one was, if I was a comic and no one was laughing, I'd just, like, give up and do really weird shit. But I think that's what I think now. I probably wouldn't. You probably don't do that, right? I mean, sometimes you yeah, can yeah, get weirder yeah. and weirder. Yeah, it gets weird. Because it's just like, why? I don't even care anymore. None of you like me. You always care. I'll do you whatever. always care. You gotta care. Even when you're not, even yeah, when yeah. you're not doing well, you still care. Okay. Because <laughs> you want to do well. It's no, like a fight. The worst but part I is, is when you're like, I don't think I care, but you're in your head thinking about it, and you're actually performing, and you're like, I shouldn't be thinking right I know. now. But that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. So maybe if yeah. you give up and you don't care in that moment, maybe. then maybe like it, you just. No, no. It was funny. It's like I did well because I did the whole like I'm not gonna care, but I was like, they're filming this like I should care there were too many ideas you were just, going yeah on. you yeah, were like yeah, circling yeah, yeah. hamster yeah. wheel as we yeah, call it yeah, right yeah but it was spinning good. that wheel make but I mean that's the same way with dance like sometimes like I'll learn like like if I, I used to be a dancer uh, now I try and take dance classes but sometimes I'll like learn a dance and it's a move that I know I can do but like I get too in my head it's yeah. like patting your head and rubbing your belly like and then I can't like I just I can't do it and you know you're like, you accept, I know like I can do this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it's like one and then sometimes once you get out of your head all of a sudden you're like, Whoa, 
I'm fucking doing this, man. I don't know if it's the was same. Was that what it was like good. for you last night at the Irvine Improv, <laughs> I felt like Andrew? I could do the dance. But you know, <laughs> I got the move, I got the I got move. It. I got him, but Irvine's not feeling these moves right now. What did you eat at the Irvine Improv last night? I didn't eat. You didn't eat any Is umami burger? Is there something, like, delicious? Oh, they, they're, right. they're, they're attached have. to an umami burger. Oh, which is delicious. So you get, you get, you know, I comped just drank umami. Instead. You just drank I, yeah, instead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's a lot different than when we were there, though. It's a lot different. You mean the... The mall's way bigger. Oh, yeah, The yeah. comedy club is not the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. yeah it's, it's a new crazy. club. Yeah, also, you know where about is Irvine? Is it down? <laughs> it's right. South, yeah. South, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, meet is from Irvine. Oh, really? I went to high school there, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually heard it's a nice place. It is a it's nice It's a bubble, place. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was that you that was talking about this last week? Probably. Irvine's someone, all right. It's just not great. Someone yeah. was talking about... How Zach De La Rocha called it the most racist was, place in America. Really? I actually think it was yeah. Gillern. Because they weren't laughing I at think my Gillern, racist Jason material, Gillern so. was saying how he would move to Irvine. Did he? I think because you guys were bonding. <laughs> Delman, I missed what you said. What did you Sorry. say? Sorry. I said it's funny because they weren't laughing at my racist material. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they should have. <laughs> yeah. No, Is it, it was racist weird. It was it's kind of racist. All right. It's not super racist. No, it's not like... That. Yeah, cloud. They got cloud. class racism. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 class yeah, yeah. racism is sometimes worse than the other racism. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I get that. They didn't like my vape jokes, oh. but they liked everything else. They didn't like your what joke? I, I talked about, like, vaping. They oh, didn't like that. at first I thought you said rape. And I was like, yeah, well, that's part <laughs> of the joke. So oh, that's really? Good. Okay. Yeah. Well, you an tell old us, guy do you want to tell us the joke? Yeah. I was. I, do the joke how you would do the joke. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. please welcome to stage, Andrew. Hey. No, I was talking about how, like, I like to vape, and this old guy called me a vapist. And it was this whole thing about, like, being called a vapist and how, nice. like, you know, the, you know. But uh, it was very weird. They didn't like it. They didn't like anything. But, you know, that's how it is. And you didn't eat any umami burger. Even I after should have. Not I just a, drank too much. It sounds like you set. didn't have a good set. No, I had a good set. Oh, okay. I had a good set, but but afterwards, I felt like I didn't have a good set. You know how that goes. I like, do. I watched the footage. I'm like, oh, that was good. I don't know why I was mad, because it was good. Right. But yeah. But you just weren't feeling it in your soul. Weren't feeling it. Weren't feeling it in the soul. <laughs> in your, in your veins, body, soul. head, blood. I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys finish your. Podcast. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, no, this and is, yeah, this is thank part you for of hanging it. Out. So thanks for hanging. Nice yeah, yeah. to meet you. I like your curly hair. That was very so awkward. much fun. That was an awkward uh, exit. Bye, Chris. Everyone's gonna have awkward exits. That's what I like. I want to know how like people will leave us. You want to? I want to see like how like people who say goodbye and then some people will just like walk away. Yeah, they're like, well, <laughs> well gotta <laughs> go. Because <laughs> everyone here has something to do, right? Well, true, and uh, yeah, yeah. Between getting a drink or getting high or getting us set or right, Let's is somebody coming? Get Rose to come over, Rose. Rose and Rose. Avery. Rose and Avery, do you want to hang out with us and talk to us? Hi, guys. Hi, what's going on? What, uh, what's the, the premise back. here? What are we doing? Aww. The premise is about your day. How's your life? Good. We're just, we're just hanging out in front of the patio, Hi, you know? How are you, Avery? I'm doing well. How are you? How's the new good. baby? He's great. He's six months old. Oh, Aww. my God. That went so, by, went so by. Went by so fast. It went, yeah. It was a lot of work. It felt very long for me. Do you know, oh. what, uh, do you know what college he's going to go to? Uh, I don't know, but I hope... He makes enough money to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. Uh, he's adorable. Yeah, yeah, he's the sweetest little guy. Um, That's awesome. He's six months old and he's happy and healthy and, you know, just lucky dude. Hey, he's adorable. Hey. Every picture I see, I'm like, oh, I want to pinch his little cheeks. Right? Oh, yeah. Here's I want your little cheeks. Right. Yeah, let's see this. Oh, there my go. God. Oh, my God. So for your viewer, your listeners at home, just imagine an, an, an angelic little creature with <laughs> pinched both cheeks. Oh, and my God. Massive horse cock. Um, <laughs> Huge cock. Really He's big so cock. cute. Wow. Yeah, Great yeah. job. Thanks. That's all from his mom, though, right? Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> that his big mom's, cock? Mom's his mom's dick. His mom's <laughs> hanger there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, are, you gonna, you? are you going to raise him Canadian or American? <laughs> Uh, I'm living in America with Canadian values. Hilarious. Are you from Canada? I'm from Toronto, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's why you're so nice and that's lovable. That's right. Yeah, that's why. I'm a nice person. It's just because of he's from yeah, Canada. Yeah, it's just because can- he's from it's Canada. It has nothing the to do with who, setting. who yeah. the human being is. It's just that he's from Canada. Yeah. There's some real sacks of shit up in Canada. I'll tell you that. I bet. That's not true. We're all really nice. Yeah. It's do you have Nazis in Canada? I'm sure there's a few. Sure you think? Like, yeah, I bet there's probably like a few up there that are don't like anything, and you know. Oh, Josh and Asser, he said a great set of the 
I was just on stage, and Avery decided to heckle me. Well, I gotta get going, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Avery. Bye, Avery. Really hurtful. You got heckled? Yeah. Uh, Feng Chao. Okay. They gotta not heckle you, man. They gotta let you do your set. Well, I do my set enough, so it's fun for me for them to heckle me. Okay. Now, okay, give me a little an explanation real quick. Whose podcast is this, and, and what's the name of it? It's our podcast. It's our we podcast. are teetering on the name. Why would we be doing a podcast for somebody else? Yeah, that's what I People understand. keep asking us whose podcast is this. Yours? It's both of ours. Well, how do I know that? I mean, she doesn't even do comedy. I don't know. Who gives a fuck? It's nothing I to do, do with comedy. What I want. It's more so we're trying to get the stories of the people who just pass her by. Okay. So we don't have a name yet. Right now, it's just Omin and Meg. Can we suggest a name that uh, on Facebook? Uh, your co-host is hot as fuck. That's the name of that's the name of it. Ah. She's great in pictures. Meg is great. Yeah, not I'll, as much in person. person too. No, oh, not in person. On. Wow. That, no, no, in pictures. Wow, that was amazing. terrible. Wait, bad? Don't say that. You're not supposed to say that. You can that say whatever so you want. That's so rude. He's joking. I don't think he's joking. Josh, Look really? At the Look at the. F- no, that's Botox. I'm, yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> you are hot. Thank and you. On Facebook, you're very hot. What about me, Josh? Yeah. Uh, he's, no, he's anyone? not hot at all, right? Is that what you're saying? I'm not as hot as you. Oh, oh my god, we just hit an hour. Hey! Oh! Na, 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 na. Cute! How long do we think we're gonna do? Like, two I think hours? an hour is uh, good. Yeah, an hour is great. An hour, I mean, anything now is just. It's just bonus. It's just, yeah, it's just cherry on top. How about you do this? You have to figure out something to do where it, right when you hit an hour, the last person you talk to, there has to be something. Like, because people are just walking by. That would right? be you, Josh. Oh, I mean, wow. now you're the last person. Tell us your deepest, darkest secret. Yeah, yes. Uh, I once went down on my sister. Is that true? No, but I, I don't know. I just came Josh, out. Josh, come on. I'm sorry. We That's not real. We need a real we need one. A real. Uh, uh, real one? Uh, yeah, give us some real. I yeah. had sex with my uh, ex fiance sister in her butt. Is that real? Yeah, that one's real. Wow. Is it? Okay, so what if Is that a big deal? as good as throwing a bag. Does she what? know? Does your ex-fiance know? We're not together anymore, so. No, but I mean, does she know that you did her sister in the butt? I don't, I'm not sure what she knows, but I did take a lie detector test and what? passed it. You passed the lie detector test yeah. and you lied on it? It's amazing what $400 will do. What do you, you mean? What do you mean? You bribed the guy? I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. You bribed the... I don't know what you're talking about, but maybe. Wow. Wow. Wait, your ex-fiance made you take a lie detector test? No, I offered. Then I hired the guy and paid him. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, but what? But she was your ex-fiance. Because you wanted to be right. So what's the point? We were engaged at the time. Oh, gotcha. Wait, did you do the? Did you do her sister before or well, after? Yeah. Before. Before. Before the lie detector test. No, I meant like before you broke up. Yeah, yeah, before. Uh, that's why they broke up. It's it was my dark and drudgy years. Oh, damn. Is this, is this the Dude, infinity? Dude, that's crazy. This is this infinity? infinity? Oh, this my God. Well, that's a crazy story, man. Well, you asked for it. I just threw it out there. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's, that, will, that should be our last question. What is your deepest, darkest secret? At the hour mark. Maybe that's our yeah, hour that, question. That's our question. Whoever uh, we're talking I I to, came up with that, an Josh idea. Nazar oh, came up with that man. segment. Hey, look who it it's is. True. Hey. All right. Well, if we are, I don't know. Uh, we'll. we'll uh, Executive producer Josh Nasser in <laughs> case. <laughs> no, he doesn't get that. Why, why not? Why not? He'll, he'll help us. He'll pitch us. Okay. Right, Josh? I'll pitch you. I'll this pitch is some travel right. channel shit he right just, here. He just paid a lie detector guy. Well, he, he admitted exactly. that. Exactly. That, that means. Before. That was seven years ago, my dark and drudging years. Okay. Now you're clean and nice. Yes. Okay. I went to 12-step in therapy, and I'm better. Okay. Can we trust him? I think we can trust Josh. Josh right. invited me to a hotel once when I first moved to Hollywood. It was like, let's write. And then I showed up in a hotel room, and he didn't touch me. So I say <laughs> I say we can trust him. <laughs> that's that's your underlining that's Hollywood my underlining. trust. Yeah. I went to yeah, a hotel to yeah. meet a comic that I barely <laughs> knew, and then he didn't try to fuck me. I mean, he's thrusting the air right now. That's okay. You it's can... like he wanted to fuck you, but he held his urges. Tim Geither. What is happening? Are they going to fight? They might. Maybe, could you commentate this? Bunch of wrestlings. Bunch they're going to wrestle. Show. Oh, okay, they stop. Oh, no, they're still fighting. They're oh. a personal, f- he's a personal fighter? No, he's a wrestler. Oh, wrestler. Tim? Okay. It's either Geither or Gaither. I'm not sure. Huh? His last name is either Geither or Gaither. Oh, Josh Martin. Tony Hinchcliffe, everybody. Do you want to come on our podcast? This shit's fucking deep, bro. What do you? <laughs> I, I can just tell you guys are in balls deep right now, and I know this because I'm one of the top young rising comedians in the, in the world. world. In the world, on in the, the Monster world. Energy Outbreak tour, touring theaters and rock clubs all across the country right now. 
Tony Hinchcliffe. Tony, are you still going on tour? TonyHinchcliffe.com, Gramercy Theater, August 26th Ooh. in New York City. Oh, that's sexy. It's a 2000 C venue. Artist Joke Pizza right around the corner. Oh, delicious. Best pizza place. Can you say after party? <laughs> Maybe I'll give out milk and cookies. <laughs> Were you uh, Andy Kaufman? Uh, I love you guys. We love Happy you Monday. too. Thanks, Tony. Happy Monday, Tony. How was the show? Good? Unbelievable. I, As always. I saw the uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, VR of the show Fun, from right? last week. Oh, it's unbelievable. We're streaming live in VR 360 now oh, every shit. single Monday. It's unbelievable. They can Josh see Rina? you working. They can see everything in the room. They can see That's the whole dope. show it's looking around. It's fucking cool. That's super cool. Who's doing it? Who's filming it? That's on the Kill Tony YouTube account. Nice. It's a whole team of... People. Amazing guys that fell in really love with the show and they know how too. to do VR. So fuck yeah, we're all very lucky. It's an amazing time. We're ahead of the evolution. I completely yeah, agree. You guys Monday. are definitely like two years ahead of everybody. The comedy else. store, the whole place, it's booming. It's fun. It is. We all are. It's true. We're pushing each other. We are. And we'll every see you guys Monday. in a bit. Bye, Tony. Come to Tony's show. Kill Tony. Kill Tony. It's in the main Monday. room every Monday. It's not a patio mic like us. No, we are. But we are the sidelines. We're the group. Hey guys, we, how's hi. it going? Questions? Yeah, we get we get the behind the scenes sidelines of everything that's happening. Of everything that's happening. Who would have thunk that this was needed? But apparently it, it is, is needed. It could be a comic. It could be a passerby. It could be Boone Chakalaka. Who knows? Yeah, who's both? Of it could those be things. a waitress. It could be the manager. It could be you know. Anybody who wants to talk to us. Yeah, exactly. Kevin is coming up around the corner right now. Who did? Kevin Jesus. Oh, he did. He's right here. He's right behind oh. you. Do you want? He's not wearing his Jesus. He's garb. not wearing his Jesus. I garb. don't know. I feel like do we talk? To We're getting made fun of by Josh Nasser. Yeah. Do we talk to him though? Definitely if he's not in. Fun of you. I'm not just me. Uh, no, neither one of you. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he is. Oh, Tony. No. Oh. Okay, so do we allow him to talk to us though if he's not in his Jesus outfit? Why not? I don't he's know. Still I just a human feel, being. I'm just kidding. I know. He's not actually Jesus, you know. Yeah, I know. I know you're kidding, Meg, but I gotta respond to you <laughs> joking about whatever you're joking too. Eh, who knows? Yeah. Who you knows? know what? Next time I'm gonna get a little one of these. Yeah. For here. That's what I was saying. Because it's a little windy. Yes. So. Can you fit one on there? Yes, I can. Tight. And I will. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Do you want to talk to us? Come talk. How's it going, man? How's your day? I got it. Is that the recorder? Yeah. Yeah, and the so mic. It kind of looks like a taser. Oh, it does kind of look like a taser. It's a taser microphone. That's yeah, why you exactly. got to get one of these for it, like you said, so I know. that it doesn't confuse people. But it's like people. for a cross-eyed person. Yeah, I know. Exactly like that. The tasers. How, how's it going? What are you talking about? I mean, we've just kind of been talking to everybody and uh, talking about random stuff in our own lives. We got, we got into the past. To the future, to the present. Yeah. Last time I saw that wall, it had Britney Spears and her show on it. Looks like this week's show is called Brown. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing on the end as Britney right now. Britney Spears was up there last. Yeah. She was. Yeah. Hey, who who do, will do be either, next? Do either of you know what the word and does mean? Do we know what the word and does means? A U D A Z. No. Tell uh, us. Uh, I don't either. But if you <laughs> find out, let me know. Okay. All Actually, right. Actually, it means like um, hospitality. Or style in Hindi. Oh. In what? In, uh, Hindi. In Hindi. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could stay, but I bit my tongue earlier and it hurts my tongue. Oh, no. Aww. Peace out. Thank I'm you for sorry, hanging out. Thanks, out. Kevin. Thanks, Kev. So, what do we cap this off at? Do we do an hour? Do we do an hour I don't and care, a half? really, to be honest. I, mean, I don't we can, care either. We can go as long How? as we want. <laughs> what do we think the patience of a listener is? Oh, listeners have forever. That's the beauty of oh, listeners. Oh, nice. Listeners can listen to us as long as they want. We can do this as long as we want. They can listen as long as they want. That is also true. It doesn't really matter. I have listened to three-hour-long Joe Rogan podcasts. Exactly. And they're And great. we're not Joe Rogan. And we're not. No, we're never going to be Joe Rogan. I mean, we're never going to be Joe Rogan, but we can be good. We can strive to be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we can. We totally can. He's so great. We got to believe in ourselves, you know? I think we do believe. I believe. I believe. I think it makes sense. It does. 
You want to just end it right there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do I do have to pee. Is that too much information? That is not too much information. You told me that you were, had an abortion earlier. so I did. That was really not too much information. That was a very vulnerable thing. I don't know why I talked about it. I that. believe in it, though, and it makes sense. It's a good thing All you right, told well, you me. know what? The next podcast, we're going to get into your past. Ooh. I don't we think We can get into my past anytime we want. Yeah, I'm into I it. feel like it's not going to be as juicy. <laughs> What are you talking about? I've got plenty of juice. Do you? Do I you, made out with my cousin once when I was a teenager. You, yeah. You know what's weird is that is, well, I mean, that's not that weird because I do feel like I know a lot of people that do have crushes on their cousin. Yeah. I had crushes on my cousin, but I felt like it was okay because I'm adopted. So I was like, eh, like it's that's not fine, yeah. as wrong. No, mine was wrong. Yeah, that's I, wrong. I like made out with her and I shouldn't have done that. Like straight up first cousin? Straight up, my first cousin. Damn, yeah. dude. And then she married a cousin too. No, she married a. So I might have put her okay, on the. That's not okay, right? I mean, it's not. I mean, it's, it's okay in Iran. <laughs> it's it's okay in Iran. That's what everybody okay. says. That's what my mom keeps saying. It's like it's well, okay. okay in Iran. I'm like, okay. Wow, I guess. your mom sounds very supportive and awesome. Yeah, she's pretty good. That's great. She supports people. I mean, and my cousin's happy. She's, but she, she loves married, that guy. I don't think that's like. I don't think you can do that. Peop- Are their doing kids going to be, like, it. retarded? They might be. All right. I guess that's their decision. Totally. Uh, Josh Martin, news paid regular, just flicked me off, and that <laughs> sounds like a Josh Martin thing to do. <laughs> yeah, that Right does. in my face. Yeah, that does. I can't wait till he gets drunk enough to come talk to us someday. He will. Next it's gonna time. Be like, you know what's going to happen? It's going to be, like, a lot of those, a lot of, like, middle fingers back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until and eventually, then, yeah. Someday he'll, he'll he'll show up with like two shots for each of us. Yeah, and then yeah. we'll have like a great conversation about New Orleans or some shit like oh, that. Oh yeah, we'll be like, yeah, oh the Saints rule all, like really loudly as he walks by, and he'll be like, do 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 the thing. Was that a good Josh Martin impression? That was a pretty good Josh Martin. Impression. Yeah, I hang out with him. I mean, a decent amount. I mean, you went to the beach with him. I mean, we hit like an out. Wait, we're at. We're like at an hour 20. We're going to do like an hour 30. No, can, we're, at, can, we're at an hour 11. You can hang 11. out with us. Are we going to go to the car? I was just about to leave. Well, I'll, I'll say goodbye I'll to Tell us about your day bit. real quick. Talk about my day? Your week? What have I been doing? I'm, uh, Ooh, you just got a butt grab. I just got a little poker in my butt cheek. Yeah. My little fancy little side quip. Uh, how has my week been? Yeah. It's been productive. I've been lighting essential oils. Ooh. Wait, like lighting? Zen- a, wait, that doesn't no, start that wasn't fire. right. I meant uh, like... Yeah. Like putting them on you? Yeah. And yeah, because like, I was say, if you light them, I feel like they'd start on fire. Yeah, you gotta like yeah. rub them on you. I've, I've become very, uh, very L.A. I bought a humidifier and I put my essential oils in there. Wow. You know what, though? That's great. And I love that. It smells great. It's good nice. Thinking. It's refreshing. It makes me feel like an adult, which I feel like is good. And... I feel like that's my, that's been a lot of my my week. What's your flavor of choice? You go on chamomile. Smell lavender at night. Lavender, yeah. And then I try. I've been uh, trying to think up like I have so much free time. I think of what mixes I would do, and I'm like, maybe I'll do orange and eucalyptus. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, that's fancy. That yeah. now that's fancy. I would yeah. I would like to smell that. Okay, I'll make you a, I'll make you a little bit. Oh my god. Yeah. You're I gonna make that. him some oil. I'll make you some essential. I'll I'll light you some essential. Whoa, he just oil. raised his eyebrows. Does he have a little crush? Yeah. I love oil. I can. I'm not going to apply the oils to you. Oh, boo. <laughs> but I will. He's, he's disagreeing now. Like he's like, fuck, oils. shit. None, too. Uh, and that's about it. Cool. And I'm doing another, like, stupid L.A. shit of, like, let's try and eat healthy and be on a cleansed diet. Yeah, you know. And that sucks. I've been on a plant-based diet for the last month. I mean, How's you that look go? great. It's been good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, your beard's growing in nice and shiny and healthy. <laughs> Looks really good. That was his goal. He was like, you know what? My Need beard's not shiny, shiny beard, enough. Yeah. So uh, I'm Need going shiny, plant-based. shiny yeah. beard. No, I was yeah. doing like those healthy, like I've been trying to do like those healthy shakes. And, Wait, uh, shapes? What? Shakes. Oh, shakes. shakes. Like healthy shakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got up before double digits today to go to the gym. So I thought that was a win. That's a Ooh, win. Ooh, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's I've been working hard. You know, out. Yeah, working out's good. Yeah. You know what though? I will say, I feel like LA does keep you though, like, like in, like it keeps you healthy because you're like, even if you ate like shit for a week, then you're like, fuck, I better eat good for the next week, and you're like, shit, I miss the gym, I better go to the gym. Like, you have to keep up. You can't just not. I think it's also trying to block like, the wind. Oh, yeah. I've lied about my like. Lied about my age for so long that I think my body's starting to believe me. So I'm like, I need to maintain whatever really? lie 
I've been like I've said, so I'm like, okay. So I'll smear like every like anti aging cream that I can think of, or I'm like, oh, I'll do I mean, this plant based shake. Yeah, you look great. And do that stuff. Thank you. I don't yeah. even know. I wouldn't even. Should I guess how old you are? I mean, you can. Now that I said that, I think it makes sense. I it mean, I want to say that you're at least 30 just because you said you're lying about your exactly, age. Exactly, yeah. And I never thought I would be one of those women, but I've become one of those. I was going to say, mean, I don't even think you look, I mean, you definitely don't look 30, so that's good. I, I just, I say I'm 28 all the time, but. Really? Be. Does it, can you do that? Yeah. Willie Hunter. Yeah. Hey, Willie. Can you do that? I mean, like, do people, like, is that, like, a thing that you actually can do in Hollywood? What, lie about your age? Yeah, and, like, it doesn't matter? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, like. They want you to the, lie the, about your age. And also, okay, the more I successful yeah. you are, the more people will help you cover that shit up. Like, oh, Beyonce, tight. Beyonce's not, like, everyone thinks Beyonce's, like, 32. And I'm like, bitch, we are not the same. Like, we are not, the, like, she's, like, a good she's 36, gotta be, 38. She's got to be, like, close to 40, right? She has to be. There's no way. But notice, like, anytime anyone has ever come out with, like, I think there was, like, one guy who was, like, actually, we grew up together, like, and he had, like, worked for the city, so he had, like, access to, like, birth certificates, oh. and they shut him up <laughs> real quick. Wow. Really? That's why when I think her sister... Did so, they pay him out, though? Oh, I'm sure. Oh, or hell they, yeah. Or that's they, what like, gotta do. what threat they came up with, but, like, that's why, like, Solange, the sister, yeah. when she had, like, a baby at, like... 18, 19, baby? they were like, oh my God, what a young mom. And I'm like, no, because she's really like 22. Because if you made Beyonce younger, that means you had to make Solange younger ah, too. Yes. So they had to like, everyone had to age down. Damn, That's why this. they're called Destiny's Child. Child. Oh, <laughs> Dude, that was a great. Because yeah. even just look at her, even though she looks fantastic, like that is not the body or like the thickness or like the, the yeah. build of a of a young, like that's a thirty something. Yeah, like, that's a thirty nine. I know, like I am it. way more curvy now, like in in better ways, but yeah, like I like it. Being but, curvy. Yeah, or like th you know, like having some thighs, having a butt. But yeah, you get that in your thirties. That doesn't come when you're. That doesn't come. No, that's just like child rearing hips. Like your hips being like you're supposed to make babies now. Yeah, exactly. And you're like ah, but I don't want to. And your hips are like I'm gonna keep. No, out. yeah, it, we're we're gonna so, make you have yeah, though, or we're, we're like we're gonna prepare you if or you're not whatever. Have a baby. We're gonna make it look like you had a baby. Yeah, so, basically. You know what pisses me off more than anything? Tell me. Is a mother who looks better than me. Yes. I'm like, you Why? fucking bitch. But that's how it that works, gets me though. You time. had like eight babies. That's how it works, though. A baby. I got it first. You know okay. how the baby... pathetic that makes you feel, though? You will never feel no, more pathetic no, 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 than no, no, seeing no, no. a mother yes. who Yo, looks better than you. That's her whole job is to like, take care of that baby and she wants to look good and stuff. I see women that I'm like, I want to look as good as you before kids, yes. let alone like after you're two gonna, kids. But, exactly. but you, once you have kids, you're going to look better than that woman. Why? How? No. Where that's how it works. I've seen my genetics. It's I, I know what my it's mom energy. looks like. Oh, wow. It's you're just energy. pulling shit out my your ass. My going to be a wreck. Oh, it's this energy. is great. Like, the, like, my, like, my family genes does not lend itself to looking good after babies. I'm telling you it does. That I mean, baby, you're, you're that like baby is going to make this you look good. This is the thinnest I'm probably ever going on it. Like, my, my mom's a bigger woman. Like, it's not, it's not looking good for me. I think it's looking good for I, you. Thank you. I yeah, think I, think, I think Omid would give you some babies. Right wow, yeah. Calm down, all right? <laughs> Just take it down a notch, right? Okay, sorry. What if, like, We're this public. is how we end the, like, yeah. whole, like, Israeli-Palestinian conflict is, like, for the two of us to get not together? Not Palestinian, I though. know, but I put all kind of, like, not Arabic Arabic. Muslims together. Yeah, yeah. Nope, not even Arabic. Not Muslim, but you are Muslim, no? Nope. Oh, wow. What are you? Oh, yeah, what seat. are you? Can you tell oh, us? Oh, he's a seat. Ah. What is that? Yeah, my parents still won't pay for that wedding. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's an Indian thing. It is No, Indian. I know, but I mean, like, what does it uh, entail or, like... It's a lot about, like, loving each other and feeding one another. <laughs> and <laughs> it's time for this hippie bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Just it's, love it's each other hippie. and feed each other. It's tight. It's pretty yeah. close to just, Judaism, actually. It sounds great. But yeah. Not really. Is that you trying to convince me? You know, it's, it's no, no, actually No, no, no. I mean, I've been told similar. that. That's what I've been told. It's, like, very much... You don't even know? ...the same practices. Well, I've been told by a lot of Jews that it's like Judaism. Well, because, I mean, I guess if you broke all of Judaism down, there's like a saying, if you broke everything down, it's la hafta the recha kamoha, which is like love oh. each other as you would love yourself. Exactly, and that's so. Sikhism too. Wow, well, what yeah. if you don't love yourself? That's tough, though. Well, you yeah. can only love other people <laughs> as much as you yeah. love yeah. yourself. Yeah. You got a pee, Meg? I do a little bit. I'm like, so, you, you I'm you guys are wrapping this up. Give me the rundown. Who else is Popeye? Uh, we let's, had let's do that. Let's end it like that. We'll talk oh, yeah, about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had started uh, with Boon Shakalaka, right? Ah. We've had Pete. P 
Pete, uh, Tony. Tony Hinchcliffe. Okay. Uh, Jack Knight. Jack Knight. Uh, okay. Alex Hooper. Alex Hooper did a big it's stop. A very, uh, Josh, Josh Nasser. Nasser. Yeah. Uh, Diverse podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So for, uh, who, Rose. Oh, Ro- Avery. Rose. Uh, Punky. Punky. Joe Dosh. Joe Dosh. There's a lot of different egos on this yeah. thing today. A lot of different it's egos. It's really interesting. Some people have passed us by with a hard no. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so there's that. I think they're going to warm up to us, though. Of course. Yeah. And the more Mondays we sit here. I kind of like this. What are you guys going to call it? Like, like uh, patio talk. Well... It's well, close. there was a patio cast. We had patio okay. cast. I idea. remember that one. We, we did a, have our names. Oh, we did Meg. Okay. We thought that would work. Yeah. I said the wall, but he thinks that's too Pink Floydy. Just because we're sitting a little bit. The wall's yeah, a little Pink Floydy. We're I get not Pink it. Floyd, you yeah. know? I get it. Story walls. Story walls. But they're not stories it, either. We're literally. But I was like comedy store, so it was like story oh. walls. I feel like that. Here's the thing. He's going on vacation, so he's not going to be. Ar- oh no! It's vacation. like okay. It's, How about it's if these paid, walls could talk too? Ooh. It's like a, ooh, yeah, but it's like a paid vacation. So we're going to rack our brains, and by the next time that we do this, we'll we have will a have name. a name. But I'm so happy with the positive response we've got. I am. Yeah. I'm Just on doing this for the last hour and twenty minutes. Yeah. So many people have come up to us and been like, "Yeah, this is really great." Yeah. Yeah. I think it seems fun. I thought you guys were crazy when I first walked by. Oh, yeah. We look like, a little oh, crazy. And then an hour and 20 minutes later, we're yeah. still here. Yeah, yeah we're here. No one has kicked us out. Now I know you're crazy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, well, we, we have considered this as like a sidelines or kind of behind the scenes type. It's like a fun experimental. Yes. That is, let's see. That's what We happened. literally had no outline. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. We were like, this was, we, we had a moment last week where we sat here and spoke to join and we were like dude we're cool together we're like we're funny we're like, great this could work this could yeah work. and then we just came up with this and uh and thanks to people like you we figured it out yeah and I now like we're that. in a wheel we're going this is like this is like going rogue we're just doing it yeah we're just doing it all doing right you it. go pee let's yeah. say good night right, thanks for having me thanks. thank guys. you thanks for coming by yeah this is so much fun yeah loved it all right all right how do we end it we're just ending it yep <laughs>